Well, when I was a kid growing up at Zion Bethel United Church of Christ, there was a lady named Mrs. Benton. She was in charge of the Christmas plays and the Easter plays. And let's just say that I became an actor by conscription. She said, you will learn this part for the Christmas play. And the way that she said it, she had a real sternness in her eyes, which let me know I better learn it. So that's how I got involved in acting by force. And since then, I've had fun. I remember saying my lines. I was either a shepherd or a wise man. And I said my lines without crying. I didn't get a spanking afterwards. And, and it's been fun since. Okay, if I could change one thing about the industry, I wish that there were more family productions, traditional family productions with a daddy, a mommy, and kids. I wish that there were more of those. And if opportunities present themselves for me to play a daddy in such productions, then I'm going to grasp those. Biggest strength, adaptability. I can adapt to a whole bunch of different situations. I can do improvs. Biggest weaknesses, sometimes with my improvs, I can be a bit hammy and long-winded and end up deviating from the script a little bit, so I have to discipline myself in that regard. Analytical. I analyze, 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 and overanalyze everything, including the roles that I play. Jamie Foxx is a role model to me. That fellow can play so many roles. I'm just thinking Ray, when he played Ray Charles, the soloist in which he played the schizophrenic uh, strings player, the movie Any Given Sunday, in which he plays Steeman Willie Beeman, he got into an argument with Al Pacino, and he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. I've never seen anyone do that. Jamie Foxx, I give him props.